Hey there, fellow gamers. Owner is here with another episode of Let's Learn Dyson Sphere Program. And look, last uh, last episode we we got the orbital mining. Orbital mining. Well, we, we got a fair few, a fair few orbital mines uh, around Alpha Leporis Two. Alpha Leporis Two. Yep, Alpha Leporis Two. And we are exporting our hydrogen and our deuterium. Deuterium is very, very slow. Uh, and we're going to have a lot of hydrogen. And a fantastic comment uh, from Power was that instead of instead of using our little old uh, ratio here for deuterium of the the second one, the fractionators, why don't we do the uh, ten hydrogen? Uh, ten hydrogen makes five deuterium, which is, is outrageous. Has there been an update? I feel like at one point that was 10 makes 1. Anyway, someone will correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, and as Power pointed out, we actually have. Look at this. We have some of these that we, we have already made uh, in our inventory. So let's uh, let, let's just plonk them down. They're, they're pretty big. I'll give them that. So uh, let's pop a couple down. We, I mean, we've, we've got three of them. We've got three of them. We might as well, might as well put down three. Uh, the recipes, they can make... Uh, they're also needed for strange matter. How interesting! Uh, that's probably actually why I built these in the first place. But we'll uh, we'll do we'll do this recipe for now, and come out here, uh, come out this one with a hydrogen, please. Thank you. Uh, and what line is that on? That line there, I think it is. Yes, it is. All right, we'll do that, and then we'll uh, we'll bring in here our deuterium all right of course we're gonna need uh, we're gonna need some inserters and this is actually takes it does take a bit of time doesn't it it's it needs two hydrogen a second and it outputs one a second so we are gonna need the faster inserters on that side uh, but we can get away with a slower inserter uh, sorter sorry on on this on the output that's fine all right we'll copy that across there and then drop in some power bowls, of course, because where would we be without power? You seriously can't put one in there? There's like a million tons of room in there. Well, I was kind of banking on that, but uh, I guess I guess what we'll have to do is, uh, for the sake of my sanity, we'll uh, we'll just put this in here with a gap between them all. There we go. All right. Uh, definitely not that one there. We want it in the middle so it looks neat and intentional. There we go. There we go. All right. And that will slowly, slowly make some deuterium from our hydrogen. Uh, we could fit six of these on a regular belt because they each use two a second. Is that right? Or is it... Uh, it, it is two. Two hydrogen a second, yes. So we could, have, we could have six of these, but they are quite expensive to make. They are quite expensive to make. And I think their power is quite high as well, yeah, 12, 12 megawatts. Uh, someone did mention earlier on that they are quite expensive to run. Look at that, 12 megawatts. Our total power consumption is only uh, 130 megawatts. One of these is, is basically 10% of that. Uh, that is very outrageous. And the reason we're not using so much power, of course, is the fact that we're not actually researching anything because we're, we're if I remember correctly, we're actually flat out of research that doesn't require green research. We'll just double check that. Uh, I think, oh, actually, there could be vain, yeah, the, these these things that we're actually not using. We might as well, we might as well, oh, jeepers, look at how quick that's going. Uh, we might as well enqueue these up and uh, just, just have the base running. And I just want to see what kind of, man, that, that is that is insane. Uh, let's just see what kind of load we actually get on on the power, and we also have uh, Q4. Okay, sure. I mean, if I was going to do this now, I might I might as well have done it early on. But I don't think we actually need I don't think we need any faster research speed. So now that this is all running, let's have a look at our power. Power consumption for the base is 200 megawatts. There we go. Oh, there's another 70 megawatts of production. Anywho, uh, that's 
I think this is definitely what we want to do for uh, getting rid of our excess hydrogen, uh, and that will create more. So we'll need to we'll need to make we'll need to make more of these, and they are very very uh, cost intensive, mainly because they need frame materials, which we're not actually making anywhere yet, uh, which need carbon nanotubes, which guess what need graphene, which guess what need graphite. Yeah, that's right. Uh, it all comes back to graphite. Always comes back to graphite, which we're really, really struggling with. Uh, but this is actually like a really nice sign, the amount of deuterium that's coming in and immediately getting used. But yeah, look at that. As soon as it clicks over, uh, that, is that require... Yeah, okay, so that, that is the actual available. Uh, we must have. We must have a very high drone carrying capacity. Uh, 70, yeah, yeah. So... They're getting a couple drones at a time. If we can get out of here. They're getting a couple drones at a time. Well, I'm surprised that doesn't just kind of stay at 70 if the demand is actually there. Uh, but obviously, obviously it's not. All right. Anywho, let's uh, let's power up. Now we probably we probably will make a few more of these. It's they're just so expensive, so expensive. If I can make three more, that would be really nice, wouldn't it? Uh, if I even knew where they were. Mini, mini particles collider, there we go. So we are missing a bunch of things. Titanium alloy, and we'll need titanium alloy for these as well. Uh, we, we, have, we have one lot of these, and just graphene. Straight graphene as well, wow. Uh, it's very cost intensive. We are also going to need these for strange matter. So this looks like actually a... Uh, this looks like quite the candidate for uh, some soil pile. Just while I'm here, let's uh, okay. Let's just go something like this, and then uh, copy that. And yeah, let's just uh, build a bunch of these. Oops, too close. Sure, something like that, and uh, and then remove them. And look at that. Yeah, it's a little bit of a little bit of soil pile. Not bad. Not bad. For a few seconds work, we got, I don't know, I think it was like 20k soil pile, uh, which for us isn't isn't bad. This this planet, not not amazing for it. Yeah, all right. Uh, so now the the other comment from uh, the previous episode. Uh, oh boy, what was it? Let me let me just double check because I want to make sure that we are right. So the deuterium was was great. Uh, Ah, uh, oh yes, it's it, now. This is why this is why I had to check it because I had to remember it was it was a doozy. Uh, making our orbital collectors, I had such an annoying time charging accumulators, and I'll, supposedly, supposedly, uh, we can automate that process. So I'm going to go and investigate that because it sounds to me uh, very exciting to be able to automate any any process, let alone one that is incredibly annoying. Nothing better than getting rid of an annoying process. Uh, and yeah, the uh, the solution was the uh, the energy exchanger, which I built so so long ago, uh, originally with a plan of using it to power other planets by exporting charged accumulators. Well, guess what? That actually uh, is used to charge accumulators. And uh, okay, yep, thank you. And yeah, we can use it to charge accumulators, and then we can have accumulators somehow fed in and fed out so let's find where our, our accumulators are look at that we've we've got a bunch of them already uh all ready to go so let's let's just delete all these guys which i assume are all charged but uh yeah look, look at that look at that color all right uh and as power pointed out in our uh, in our inventory efficiency, we actually dropped. Whoop, I think it was back over here. Uh, we dropped off the energy exchanger in one of these chests. And is that it? That is it. Okay. So let's grab that and then uh, let's see if we can automate this process successfully. Now, where are those? Where were those accumulators? No, they're somewhere around here. There they are over there. Okay. So here are the accumulators. Let's pop the energy exchanger down. Energy exchanger. Uh, there it is there. All right, so it does have it does have some belt inputs, which is nice. It's connected to the network. And here we go. Charge. 
charge accumulators uh, you you are doing some level of charging uh, but you don't have any accumulators coming in so if we were to feed this in here and then have an output over here uh, there's that output let's just see how this works all right you have accumulators coming in you are current power is nothing you have no accumulators uh, that is because I'm an idiot and these are not accumulators these are uh, those are the magnetic rings <laughs> small minor detail minor detail so what we'll do is we'll bring uh, this guy in like that yep there we go that belt was already in there uh, we'll have one of you popping out here and let's just see what happens when one goes in uh, nothing nothing charge discharge charge okay these are accumulators yes we'll figure out we'll figure out how this works uh, do I need right, what if I do that because there was some dodginess going on there there we go okay it was uh, I had that previous belt probably still had one or two of these magnetic rings on it and look at that we are now charging them and then we can have I wonder if you can put a box there and feed directly into the box no we, uh, looks like we do need to output here uh, but that is that is just mega cool isn't it uh, let's get rid of get rid of those and have you now come in there like that all right let's get rid of those belts I'm gonna put all my charged accumulators that I have in my inventory now in there and uh, we'll uh, look let's let's just say let's let's go crazy and uh, and fill a belt fill a box because uh, they only what did they stack to they stack to well they stack to 50 all right let's not go too crazy that's 100 uh, 200 300 4 that's only 500 actually that, that's not that crazy uh, and it does take it does take a well I say it takes a while um, but it's much faster at charging an individual accumulator than when we actually put it down on the network uh, but we can only do one at a time so it's I don't know if there's a uh, there's probably rates shown on here somewhere. Uh, input power out. I guess I guess it's the output power of 45 megawatts, uh, and this requires. Well, this can only have an input power of 900 kilowatts. But I feel like that's being bypassed in this case. So, 45 megawatts. Uh, that is into 270. That is like. Oh, I'm going to say six times. It is six times. So it takes six seconds uh, for uh, 450 megawatts. What do we say? 40, 45 megawatts. It takes six seconds for 45 megawatts to produce 270 megajoules. And, and that seems to be about right. So one every six seconds. Uh, what was our production speed over here, by the way? Uh, it is one every five seconds. So it's kind of it's kind of a one is to one uh, I am however going to probably just drop this down because we don't really need empty accumulators uh, at all all right but that is just fantastic that is an amazing way to uh, not have to sit here for eternity waiting for uh, waiting for all that junk to to go uh, we've got more research that we can queue up might as well might as well do it uh, oops, that's 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 not it. And I guess I guess we'll just queue up some of this purple research. Oh man, that's a lot of purple research. Uh, that's also a lot of purple research. But what else? What else are we gonna do? What else are we gonna do? And that gets into green. Okay. Might as well might as well research the stuff that we can because I, I I'm in no rush to get to green science. All right. Uh, so the other thing while that's all charging up. Uh, let's have a look at updating our mall. Updating our mall. So we have uh, we have chem plants and what are these fractionators, oil refineries. Okay. So I think the the things we are missing, the things we are definitely missing, are fractionators and uh, mini particle colliders. Now mini particle colliders is going to be quite uh, quite expensive, so we won't do a whole heap of those. Uh, but 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 we can we can make fractionators can't we i think i think we can do that 
pretty simple. Now we actually have glass and steel here, which is glass, steel. St I thought we were making. Gosh, I thought we were making fractionators. Uh, glass, steel, and stone and CPUs. Now we don't have CPUs here, do we? But we have we have got glass, steel, and stone. Glass, steel, and then stone is coming through on this line. Is this stone? Here it is, stone bricks. Uh, so, oops. We can we can spaghetti our way around this. There's no doubt about that. By bringing this stone out. By bringing this stone out uh, and up and up there we go yeah yeah all right so I'll bring this stone over here bring it over here and then back down back down here uh again let's not go too far because i don't know how many things are actually going to need this uh we'll bring glass oh, i could put a splitter there but honestly we we're probably just gonna do this uh all right, let, let's just bring you. Ooh, yeah, yeah, we're, we, I'm too close. I'm too close to the edge. Am I? Uh, yes, yes, I am. That's okay. So what we'll do is we'll pop you here, and you are going to be making fractionators. No, that that is not what I wanted to click on. You are going to be making fractionators, buildings, fractionator, uh, and there's your stone. Uh, there is your glass. Here will be your steel. Uh, let's actually bring it out here so we're kind of using as many, keeping as many outputs available as we can. Uh, and then you just need CPUs. So we've got a spare spot here. That just means CPUs. Uh, which is okay because CPUs will get used for uh, other things as well. Now, I'm going to drop these right down because these these are areas that don't need a lot of materials. Uh, and I did not set the output of that one. No, that's... Oh, I apparently already had it as steel. Uh, I could have left that as steel now that I see that, but we're going to go... We're going to go CPUs there and steel... Steel on that one. All right. Just because that was how I had originally envisaged it. Uh, yes, 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 yes. Okay. Uh, sorters. Inserters, inserters. Don't know why I'm using the fast ones. We definitely don't need them. Uh, and then we copy... No. Why did I... Ah, gosh. Why did I, why did I do that? I'm going to shift click. Uh, not that one. All right, well, we'll put that there. Shift click rid of that and you have to go uh, there there we go okay uh, that's probably way too many fractionators actually I don't know what they stack to so let's not say that's way too many just yet uh, and let's get some power we do end up powering up that uh, that there but it's got no drones in it so it's fine all right now you have everything you need, that's wonderful, and we have fractionators. So, fractionators was easy, fractionators was very easy. Uh, miniature particle colliders. Hmm, look at all these, look at all these things that we need. Uh, we don't actually have any production of, um, of the uh, parts. So, let's begin. Let's begin by popping down some part, uh, frame parts production. And, I don't know, let's come over here. Got a bit of got a bit of area to play with over here, so ah, oh, that's a crude seep. I did not see that. Uh, it'll, that'll be fine. That'll be fine. We'll we'll avoid it. Uh, so we are definitely not doing what I just did because that was silly. Um, but we are going to be bringing in the stuff we need to make the frame parts, which is nanotubes. Do we have nanotubes on the network? I don't think we do. We'll, we'll check. Uh, we do have titanium alloy and we do have silicon. So uh, nanotubes, if I put in a demand, are you going to give me any? This will tell us whether we have any on the network and we don't. Okay. So to make nanotubes, uh, it is titanium and graphene. Titanium and graphene. Uh, we could make some nanotubes 
fairly easily, I think. Not a high, not a high volume of them, but um, somewhere over here is our graphene production. Here is our graphene. Uh, we've probably got titanium over here as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, what's required for nanotubes? Nanotubes come in a chemical factory, of course they do. Production, chemical factory. Let's just pop down. One, two, three. There we go. Uh, do we have anyone with a spare input though? That is the problem, isn't it? What about you over there? <laughs> yep. Yeah, it's it's this is this is happening, guys. This is happening. There you go, you are supplying nanotubes. Uh, let's not go crazy with nanotubes because they do take a whole heap of resources. So, all right, so out of here, we'll take our graphene. Uh, out of here, we'll take some titanium. I should do it on this line. There we go. And then out this way, we should get our nanotubes. Ooh, we're actually out of items. Well, luckily we're on AL1 when we saw this. And there we go. Zhuzh, way over here. Uh, not quite, not quite. Where are we? Here we are. Uh, belts, 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 belts. Give me... That's a lot of belts. That'll do. Uh, why have I got... I've got a lot of junk, don't I? Got a lot of junk. Uh, how's our sort of situation going? Let's just check that. Yeah, got one. Uh, let's actually grab, fill up on that. You know, these these things. We just got to make sure that we have we have enough. I uh, haven't been using many of those. Yeah, we've got to got to fill up. Uh, that we've only got thirty of them. That's fine. Uh, chem plants. I think we've got enough for for a uh, brief period of time. All right. No, don't land. Let's go back over here to our. Future graphene. Car Ooh. Hey, hey, hey. We're flying away. We're flying away. Watch out that with the uh, the sail. Alright. So you guys are doing nanotubes. And they're, they're very slow, aren't they? Uh, oh, no. It's two a second, actually. That's, um, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. They do have a bit of... Oh, that's the wrong... That's the wrong thing. A bit of... Bit of a requirement for stuff, but we can uh, we can handle it. All right, copy that. Apparently, I put a space in between each one. Well, we'll, we'll use that for random power poles. There we go. All right, uh, and you you didn't like that. You didn't like that at all, did you? Uh, what have I what have I done? I see what's I see what's going on here. There we go. You take those green ones. Now we've got to somehow find a way uh, to get you in here. <laughs> you can see it. You can see it, can't you? It's it's staring us in the face. Um, there into there. Look at that. Perfect. It was uh, it was like we meant to do it all along. Now let's hit a bit of an update on. All of this stuff that I realized I accidentally put in as basic belts. Uh, does that actually return the basic belts to our inventory? It does. Okay, that's kind of why we had some in the beginning. Anyway, there is some level of nanotubes, which for what, we, what we're what we actually using them for here, let's remember we're just using them to make, uh, to make our fractionators. No, not fractionators, our mini particle colliders. We don't need, we don't need very many. In fact, we're not even using them to make mini particle colliders here. We're using them to make uh, the frames. Yes, there we go. All right. Uh, I can't remember whether the other one had drones, so I better actually give this one some drones. Oh, it looks like it did. Okay. It looks like it did, but we'll, we'll give this one some drones anyway. Not a not a huge amount. Oh, look at that. Our power situation is is bad. Power is bad. Uh, yeah, we're at. We're at a fairly low, fairly low amount of power. We've got a bunch of thermal power plants somewhere here. I mean, there's there's a bunch everywhere, but yes, in particular over here. Uh, that 
we were at one point burning some hydrogen in. And you know what? Let's, uh, let's, why, why don't we, why don't we, why don't we just make this a reality again by putting in one of these guys here. There we go. With some logistics bots. Uh, yep, sure. And then have you requesting hydrogen? Uh, I mean, yeah, I, I don't want to upset the equilibrium here. If we've got hydrogen being stored elsewhere, we'll just have local storage here and remote demand. Thank you. Uh, we should be seeing some. No, no, the orbital generators. That's right. The orbital... Uh, the... There is, there is no drones available in the orbital uh, collectors. Yep. All right. So if I get rid of this, get rid of that, and we now go out here with hydrogen like this, uh, this will provide... What is each one of these providing? Uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't actually say. It doesn't actually say. Because this, or well, this actually, again, um, how do we, how do I do this? All right, I think I know what I want to do. I know what I want to do. What I want to do is come in here, actually kill that for a second. Hopefully you can, uh, you can see where I'm going with this. We put in a splitter here. This comes in to here and out to there. And then this is a priority input. And then that goes into there. And then we're burning off this excess that we're not using. And is kind of like <laughs> blocking up, frankly blocking up this whole thing. Uh, let's upgrade all of these things. Uh, it's already maxed out. Just so that things are look like they're actually working. That one there. No, it's all right. Okay. That one, that one, and that one. Okay, yes, that's that's much, much nicer. Much, much nicer. Uh, and then our excess will be... Our excess from here will be burnt off, and look at that. Our power, it's because of our charging. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we've got a little bit of a buffer, um, but because we're charging accumulators, it's good, it's good. All right, maybe maybe we'll get these frames built right now. Do we have? Do we still have time? Yeah, we got we got a couple of minutes. We got a couple of minutes. Now that we have power, now that we have these, what else do frames need? Uh, it's just titanium and silicon. Titanium alloy, uh, the smallest we can demand, and silicon, the smallest we can demand. There we go. All right. Uh, because we just we, we just do not need we do not need a big supply of this. Uh, well, we do need. Don't get me wrong. We need a big supply of this. We just don't have the ability to actually supply this uh, to support the production of a of a big amount. Is probably a better way of saying what I'm trying to say. All right, let's pop you out there. Let's get some of these guys. Just one, two, three. I don't know. How many can I fit? How many can I fit? Uh, four. Yep, that's it. Five. Five is five is the number. Uh, they are too close. I just I see that now, uh, but we can do that as though we intentionally did that. Uh, yep, let's do that. Let's get you to output the last one, which is silicon. And then uh, we have an input, which has to go to a, another another one, uh, which we'll have a look where we we'll have a look where that one actually goes to. Okay, let's get some sorters going and some recipes, of course, that would probably help as well. Uh, I feel like I feel like we need to bring these up anyway because that actually makes it expandable. Uh, if in the future we decide to do that. There we go. And then you are making these frame materials. All right. And one tab. We'll get there. Let's pop another power pole in there. 
I didn't need to do that space, did I? Because you can actually fit one in that space. Uh, anyway, anyway, we're it's what's done is done. Uh, we now have some small amount of frame materials. They take six seconds. We have five. Uh, it's basically one a second, basically. Uh, and we were using that to make a small carrier rocket. Oh, we've, getting ahead of myself. Let's let's not get caught up. Let's not get caught up. We were using this to make uh, mini particle colliders, weren't we? Yep, and they need CPUs, graphene, uh, titanium, which we have here, CPUs we have over here, and so we would need to bring in, we need to bring in the things we have over here. Do I want a belt from all the way over there? No, I do not. Um, but they are being made just over here. No, that's still too long. It's still too long. So we are going to need a second one of these guys. Second one of these guys. Although, oh, every single time. Every dang time. Uh, although, what I really want is I want to actually make the frame materials available. Uh, even though that means we're probably going to have to put in another another one of these over here. Somewhere. And I can copy that one because it's got no uh, it's got no recipes in there. It did have it did have a recipe, but it wasn't a demand at least. All right. Uh, so this one here goes up and in. Auto save uh, up and into you, and we'll limit that supply to say 500, because uh, that's 500 seconds of production. That's like 10 minutes. Uh, we we'll uh, <laughs> we'll we'll let that build up. It's not going to build up, I got to say, because we are going to be making the uh making the the other things the other things over here we'll, we'll aim for we'll aim for them being made kind of here because we've got a box there all right so to make those other things uh we need the titanium alloy which we have we need the magnetic rings we need graphene magnetic rings graphene and cpus uh magnetic rings Super magnetic rings, graphene, and we can get we can source CPUs here, and I don't mind doing that because actually, um, so we may we may not need that one. We may not need that one if if we play our cards right. Okay, so coming over here, we'll have frame materials. That's that's very long though, is my concern. Uh, we'll have magnetic rings. We will then have one of you will get our CPUs out of here uh, of course we will uh, actually no let's let's go over to this one CPU and now can I get over there oh, I can't uh, yeah that's that was that was my plan Get rid of you. Looks like we looks like where we were before is is the go. Uh, maybe that one will give us enough to get over. Yep. Uh, again, big big kind of space. Big kind of space. Uh, drop you down to come over to here. There's CPUs and what else do we need for this guy? Uh, buildings, mini particle collider. Uh, it's graphing. Graphene. Ah, oh, there's actually there's a lot of ingredients, isn't there? Uh, we need to bring over this guy. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna do that because we can. Uh, and then the graphene out of here. Graphene out of here to that line. There we go. Uh, and then a box that comes here. Did that actually connect up? It seemed like it did. All right. Let's see. Let's see if we can make this work. Let's see if we can make this work. Uh, there's the five ingredients. The five ingredients. It's not extendable. Yes, I see that. Although we could raise this to jump over. Um, I don't mind it. I don't mind it. Again, we just it's small, small levels of production. Small levels of production, and that's uh, let's go. Yeah, two, two capacity. It's it's going to take a while. It's going to take a while, but 
something uh, something we'll just have building. We'll have building in the background, and we will uh, we will be very happy about that. There you go. Start a building, and the amount of time we have. Are we going to get enough of these in the time it takes to build? I think we are. Yeah, yeah, okay. So we're we're good for inserters and everything. And look at that. We have uh, we have a mini particle collider. I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, that brings us to the end of the episode. We, again, we ran a little bit over. We ran a little bit over. Um, but I feel like I feel like we're making progress. We've got now our uh, fractionators. We've got our fractionators. Grab a stack of them. And we have our mini particle colliders uh, automated, automated, and yeah, we. I mean, our research is just uh, it's just going bonkers. We're flying through it all. Uh, I think our power is kind of sorted now. Kind of sorted now. Where is a power pole? Uh, yeah, yeah, our power is sorted now. That we have the hydrogen coming in from the from the gas giant, which is right next door. So actually, shipping in the hydrogen is really quick, uh, and that means there's more space for deuterium. Yeah, I'm pretty I'm pretty happy with this. We'll next episode we'll take all these fractionators and mini particle colliders and really ramp up our deuterium production, uh, which may need then some more power, which will mean more burning of hydrogen. And we have we have excess hydrogen, so it's all coming together quite nicely. I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to it. I hope you are too. As always, a massive, massive thank you to my uh, amazing, amazing patrons and I'll catch you next time.